Hey guys, Liquid here and welcome back to Let's Play The Herbs Sims in the City. Where we last left off, we were kind of exploring this, you know, the newly unlocked area. Just to get, you know, getting to, to know all these, um, these buildings, such as all these fish buildings. We explored this giant ship, which also might be a house we can get one day. Looked at the museum. Uh, I don't think we looked at this townhouse. But uh, one thing that uh, piqued my interest was that we unlocked the ability to... What's this? Hello? Oh, this is the Zydeco Club. This is, um... I think, uh... Coleman wants us to do something here. Or, before we do that, I'm more interested... Ooh! We can buy the townhouse. Let's, let's go in here. That's a nice little, nice, cozy, warm place. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We were, um, con we were propositioned by Detective Dandy Man to play a game of... This is the museum again. Or, Proposition by Detective Dandy Man to play a game of a of a Moogle Monkey, or Moogu Monkey, I think it's called, which is a mini game that we've had a couple other NPCs mention. Like, it's been like a throwaway dialogue line where like, like I heard so and so made a whole bunch of money playing Moogu Monkey. First, before we do that, let's just go quickly get our needs in order. I'm curious to see what this. I think like like um, our sim commented. You know, even though we haven't actually played it before, like our I guess our sit like our herb. Uh, he's in. He's more in the know than us. It's um, somewhat dramatic irony, if you will. Uh, he, he like said something like he basically just descri described it as as like a card game. So I imagine it's some sort of card game. And like the reason we're doing this is like we're, we're trying to like. This is actually some sort of sting operation where we're gonna play a game of Moogoo Monkey and then someone else. Like, there, there's like an informant or something. Like, this is like part of a. This is part of a master plan or something. Wait, this, so that's not Moogoo Monkey. Play Moogoo Monkey. Where, where do you play Moogoo Monkey at? Let's um look at. Huh? I, I, if that's not Moogoo Monkey. What, what? What is? So that Lily Gates get to be unlocked. Darhe, Bombard, and Soul Music are the other two mini games. So I guess this might be the, the Yarhe Bombard. Let's uh, go over here. I can't remember. So where else? I can't remember if we if we, if we saw another mini game option somewhere else. While we're looking for that, so if it's not immediately obvious where that is, maybe we should go to Zeke's place or maybe the graveyard or something. Ooh. Do you know anyone who likes to run a museum? Yeah, sure, man. I know this lady. She, uh, she's a real. She's, she's a friend of Roxy's. A 
cool, a real cool chick. Talk to Roxy and she'll hook you two up. Roxy. Yeah, so we're looking for a curator for the museum, so I'm not even sure. Do we, do we know? Wait, do we know someone named Roxy? I think we. Roxy, Roxy. Is it. Is it like the girl with like. Is that, is that Roxana? Is that what you're talking who, Who's. I'm curious if that's Roxana. What? Sorry, liquid old buddy. I've just got the canvas gig. You're just not ready. Why not? I need someone with a rep, man. Someone from the community people respect. You build your cred and come back tomorrow. What? So I need to... I need to earn rep 2 with my group. Because I think like... I need to, I guess, get more popular with the nerdies or something, because I think, like, I've, um, basically, you know, because I'm trying to, like, befriend everyone, I'm, I'm also in the process annoying other people because, like, they don't like it when you get, become friends with certain people. Be right back, folks, when I figure out where the heck this Mugu monkey is supposed to be. Alright, so it turns out, folks, that um, the uh, Mugu monkey is actually here. Um, this is inside of, like, the uh, old, old salty ship. I had actually, if you might remember, I actually came back here when I was looking for Mugu monkey, but I think I, like, immediately left because, like, I just figured, you know, this is, you know, the place that you can buy. Like, it, like they wouldn't put a mini game in, like, a house you can buy or whatever. But, uh, hey. oh, hey. oh, there, Mr. Giuseppe. Oh, I gotta wait, come back at 4 p.m. While we're, I guess, at it, man. Well, this video has been very uneventful so far. I'll just maybe get get a little bit of rest. Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah. by the time we um we get back there, we'll be able to do the movie monkey, I think. Cause I also want to do the uh, cemetery thing. Yeah, an hour left, so let's go. Let's go back for some. Uh, Monkey of the Mugu variety, which, if it's a card, I'm really curious how they're gonna do it. Cause uh, this has a chance to be, you know, rather fun and challenging, or just completely nonsensical and frustrating, like the uh, dusty hog, dusty hog thing. Fifteen minutes early, fashionably early. When it comes to video game card games, uh, you know, I think the one that comes to a lot of people's mind is a uh, Triple Triad and Final Fantasy VIII. Wait, I'm trying to think, actually. I'm trying to think. Uh, because, like, there's two card games. Like, there's one in Final Fantasy VIII and there's one in Final Fantasy IX. I can't remember. There's one that's, I think, Triple Triad's Final Fantasy VIII, then, like, Final Fantasy IX's something else that I can't remember. Um, but I remember liking the card game there. Which monkeys will survive? Bet coconuts and play a card. When all monkeys have card have a card beneath them, the monkey with the lowest card is eliminated. The game ends when three monkeys remain. The player with the most fruit wins. 
bad, bad coconuts play a card. I, I'm not. We'll have, probably have to see it to understand it. Pick the survivor. Which which monkey will survive to the end? What? You have, you have been selected as the coconut. Use your coconuts to place bets. Place a coconut under the monkey you think will win. Let's do red monkey. Very red angry monkey. Begin round one. Liquid's turn. It's now your turn. Place another coconut. Your score is equal to the number of coconuts on the board. And also keep tracks and also keeps track of the other player's fruit. What? Place a bet? Oh, what am I betting on? Your cards are below. When every monkey has a card, the player with the lowest cards is out of the game and the round ends. Strategy tip, play high cards on monkeys with your coconuts on them and low cards on monkeys with pineapples and watermelons. Play a card. I'm not, uh, this is tricky. Uh-oh. Uh Let's bet. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what. Ah, uh, I, I, I really, I'm, I'm very confused, fellas. So maybe low card. I don't. I I really, I really don't understand this at all. Honestly, honestly. <sighs> Place a bet. Like, what do we bet? I don't. I don't know what this betting thing means. I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to like, I'll, like, imagine like there are probably, probably like guides, like tips on how to beat M M Moogle Monkey and it's the, sim the, the herbs sims in the city. Um, like, 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 I'm not sure like, what, what am I betting, like what does my bet do? I'm, I, really, I really don't understand. Um, so I'm just gonna just bet on myself? Like is that a, bad, a good thing or a bad thing? Place a, place a card, play a card. How long is this thing gonna be? Seriously, I have. Alright, so I can't bet on myself because, you know, I've, I've filled my thing up. Uh, but I, it's, not, it's not like I understood what the bet, what the bets do in the first place. So, Oh, what? It's a tie. Play will continue until one monkey has the lowest card under him. Uh oh. Let's turn. Trying to Ooh. A monkey's out. He had the lowest card under him, so he's out of the game. 
All bets on the eliminated monkey are gone too. Don't spread your coconuts too thin. <laughs> so, okay, I guess... I, 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 I still am very confused, but I'm maybe kind of understanding a little bit. Maybe I... I so it seems maybe I, I did a bad job by just putting my all my coconuts on, on me, maybe? I, I, I don't, I'm not really sure what the, you know, betting... I, I still don't understand what, what like, betting does. I can only bet on you. And... Oh, nice! So, I, I, I guess somehow we got... We, we, like, we, we got a thing back in the game somehow. I, I really don't understand. Oh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. So if I take this three, that'll put me at a. Th I'm just gonna test. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save state. I'm just gonna see that they'll put me at a three. Yes, I'm not sure. Huh. Okay. Looks like, like you're just picking what what you feel is like. The, the least uh, the, the, the least po like the uh the, the lesser of the evils or whatever the final round look what's turn give me that card boy Ooh, oh nice yeah I don't, I'm not sure what he just did to give me seven like I don't, I don't know how I got those extra things Oh no. stirred with three coconuts. Do I get any money from it? 66 simoleons. And that's also technically... When you, when you, not worth it for the money. Not, not worth it for the time I spent, honestly. Mugu Monkey, what an oddly compelling game. Yeah, it is. But I noticed... But I noticed you only played it once. Why not have another go? To be honest, I only have a few more minutes to live. Ha! <laughs> Neddy B told me he'd send over a joker. Well, kid, I hope you get a chance to check the newspaper office bullet bulletin board tomorrow before you die. Wink, wink. That's it? That's it. See you around. Like, let's look at the jobs, right? Logic skill, two... So you need to make a hundred like man, like seriously, like, that's not worth not worth it for the time, honestly. Like maybe you know when you promote like a whole bunch and you manage to win Like you'll you'll end up, you know, making Buku's Buku money, but uh, I just didn't I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> you know, funny just up he's always Sneaking about. So 
let's go see the bulletin board, I guess. That was weird. I, I really don't quite understand. Yeah, a, a lot, lot of stuff I don't really get about it. I'll, I'll have to look it up. I, I do wonder if it's the type of thing where, like, if you if you manage to learn the rules, you, know, you can like like there is skill involved. You know, it's not just luck or something. Oh, it's, everything's gotta. Wonder is the. Uh... What are the chances that the, that the newspaper is open? Everything's gotta break down. Like how? Like how? Like you know, much of a insane shower must we be taking? Like underneath that little you know sprite of a uh, mist and spray what is going on to make this shower just burst liquid search the shrubbery near the museum because that's our a message for us perhaps Shrubbery near the museum. So I was gonna make a joke about how you know we got we you know the wheel, the wheelchair fellow he's, he's got a set of wheels we got we, we got a set of wheels as well. Was that um Roxana? Hey. Do you know anyone who liked to run a museum? As a matter of fact, I do. A dear, dear friend of the West Coast. A dear broke friend, actually. But if we can scrounge up 300 simoleons, we can fly her out immediately. Got it right here. Count it up. The carnival is my home, my family, my dysfunctional, wonderful family. Nice. Hey, Liquid. I just got a word that the museum curator showed up. Hey, was that fast or what? Everything's sorted. Now, what about this business deal you mentioned? Like, that was fast. Like, she, like it can tele teleport instant transmission from the West Coast to Sim Valley. <laughs> it's only fair, so here's the deal. You'll get a check in the mail for each piece you finance. The more expensive the item, the more you make. Wow. I can retire today. No need to be snide, dude. <laughs> it's something to think about if you're bored. Anyway, have a blast. That's pretty cool. Like, I wonder if it's like a recurring thing. You know, it's like, like you, like you spend the, you know, you spend like two thousand up front, while you and you end up getting more over time. Zizzle beads. Curious. Oh. Why, 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 why you gotta make these weird noises, lady? This is the museum. So we're looking for the shrubbery. I'm not sure... That actually, maybe that didn't actually have anything to do with us. Oh, here we are. A slip of paper. The answers you seek lie beyond the grave. Let's go to the graveyard then. We, we, we've got a ton, so much trash. Weird to be here during the day. Who get in here exactly? Is 
like another way in. Um, let me through, please. Answers lie beyond the... I wonder if there's like a certain time we have to be here. It's kind of... Sad. You know, just like, like walking through this graveyard, just... Like we own the place. Smashing the A button to see if like, I find an item. How would we get over there? Oh, did I see something? No. Answers you seek lie beyond the grave. I'll be honest, but because I had the, gra the graveyard in my in my mind, when I when I pulled up my inventory and saw the MJ Fox grav board, I I I, I read it as graveyard at first. I was a bit confused. Will it be be here at a certain time, perhaps? See, that's, that's gonna be frowned upon, you know, riding your hover bike around on. Aww. Riding the hoverboard around on. Oh, wait, did I just sell that for nothing? Oh, it was 30. Oh, never mind. Perfect for people who don't know a spanner from a hammer. Let's just... I'm curious what this bit, mini bit, this bench is all about. Let's, let's get the, the small one, then we'll te test it out. We'll come back to the graveyard at, like, like I said, at night. We have to go to sleep. We have to, like, get our... Uh, Oh, nice. Uh, so I got 50. So I guess like that is a way of, um, you know, offsetting, you know, that in, in addition to like just, you know, working, do, doing the mini games and getting money. That's like a way you can offset the cost of like, I guess, owning a whole bunch of houses. Um, let's um put down our Black. Definitely running out, of, running out of space a little bit, but what? Oh, oh so I guess so we need, we're gonna need some sort of wood. So keep that in mind. But I'm curious what we can do with that. But I wonder if it comes. It'll, I wonder if it'll come up in the story at some point. Can I make some sort of uh, let's let's eat when we wake up. Actually, so let's see. Is there a time that you have to? 11 p.m. is when we need to be there. Wake up at, let's wake up at 10, okay. Aww. <laughs> that was just so sad, like the, the, the noise that the sim makes. Oh. We make it in time.
Well, let's just look at this first. Oh, I'm not going to do our little uh, guarding thing. Okay, this is a. What's up? What's up with you? My fists. You think you're bad, huh? What's it to you? I'm not supposed to let anyone through. Okay, this is where we messed up last time. I'm so strong I can deflect sunlight with my breath. Okay, I'm so... I'm so tough, people call me the flunky foo, I guess is what I, I think that this is what I meant to say. Okay, uh, that, that must be what I said last time. Okay, I, I did, um... I, okay, look, I, I did, um... Do, do a pre precautionary save state there. Oh, what? I'm so tough, people call me Poindexter. Oh, I, I, I guess like it's one of those weird, ironic names. Serious? Man, we'll check this out. I'm so crazy. I wore a tracksuit to a bullfight. <laughs> that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Like, like that's a good joke, man. I'm so crazy. Detective Dan kicked me out of jail. I'm so crazy. Sometimes I wet to myself. I'm so crazy. I ate pizza for breakfast. Let's see. Detective Dan kicked me out of jail. You what? Oh snap! Forget this. Messing with you ain't worth ten times what Daddy B said. Uh, pay me to rough you up. I'm out of here. Well, simple enough. Well done, child. The meeting finally went off without a hitch. Now we've got a few tricks up our sleeves if Daddy B comes poking his nose into our business. What kind of tricks? Let's just say we've got a few people in high places watching Daddy Big Buck's every move. Great. So when do I get paid? Paid, you greasy little. Oh, all right. You did put your life on the line. Take this cookbook. It's been a part of my family for years. Or nearly one year, anyway. <laughs> cookbook, eh? That was interesting, because, like, like, it said, um, we're supposed to, like... We were supposed to guard the graveyard for four hours, but it's only been, like... You know, it hadn't even been one hour. There's like a ghost character. Oh, I noticed this this path that opened up. Let's look at this cookbook, actually. Grandma had his cookbook. And oh yeah, we get some recipes: sugar cookies, fudge brownies, pecan pie. Should we need to try to make something at some point? Get some wood here. Built an experiment. Oh man, that's a very creepy statue of Daddy Big Bucks. I'm gonna call the video there, folks, as we are going on quite long. I don't like my videos to go on too long, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and till next time, liquid out.